Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of this R programming language series. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about different string functions that we got in R. Because we used to work with strings quite often and you must know these functions so that uh, it, it can make your job very easy, right? Uh, so that you can use uh, these functions in your projects and your scripts. So let's get started. Uh, for this, uh, this important uh, topic, we will be requiring one package called string R. So we need to load the library string R. In case if you haven't, if you haven't uh, installed or haven't downloaded this package, first install this package with install.packages string R, then load the library because some of the functions are defined under this library. But some of the functions uh, which I'll be covering up today, it is all are the inbuilt uh, R, uh, R functions which, which doesn't require any package but there are few few functions which I'll be talking about which are there in, uh, defined under this string R package. So let's get started. Uh, I've already have opened up one notepad file in which all the things are been listed. Let's do it one by one. First one is string extraction means I want to extract something out of my string. How we can do it? The very first function available it's called sub str or sub string. So uh, in this case you can see the syntax is very simple. Uh, it is containing the first argument as the text uh, which uh, I'll be, uh, which will be my input text, the starting position and stopping position. Let's see how it works. So copy and I've already have opened up this R console. I'll be demonstrating everything here. You can see it here. I have started a start to stop to. It is N. It is second position which is N. In the same way, uh, let's go with further. Another variation we can try in which we have a stop uh, as 4. Now I'll be having different answer than the previous one. It will be NBO. So starting is 2 means NBO. It will be ending 1. In the same way, we have a substring available. In a substring, we can also do in a recursive fashion. Let, let me first show you. It's another function that we got in R. So let's suppose uh, here I'm going with the first 4, right? I have written here is first 4. So it is starting here uh, the thing with the op O X I N G big data. It means it is starting from here, the fourth position, right? And it is printing everything. So this is the same as, la, as like a sub str. But now, in this case, if I'm going with this one in which I'm giving the range first equal to three colon five, let's see the answer will be changed. I'll be getting now three answers here. So it will be first showing from three to last, then four to last, then five to last, right? This is how it works. Means three means it is starting from B first, O then then X right it is how it is work it's working in the same way if I can use first and last together let's see how it will be uh, the, how it will be changing the uh, results here I am using one two three means this is how it need to be read one two three then two two four then three two five then four two six five two seven this is in this way that's why we got the five answers here right unb nbo box oxi and xin this is how we can make use of substring in which we can also extract the things in a recursive fashion then we have a string splitting available so in this case uh, i'm having a, a string available with the space delimiter uh, as unboxing big data so in this case i've given the split as space so obviously it will be separating the characters with the space so we have a space as a delimiter so that's why we got answer unboxing means all the characters got separated here with the space delimiter right this is called as a string split next we have a very simple uh, inbuilt function available called uh, case conversion uh, let's suppose i got the uh, x as unboxing big data i want to change it to the lower case we have a two lower function available so it is quite straightforward so unboxing big data in upper case got changed to the unboxing big data in a lower case in the same way if i've got ubd in a lower case it will be uh, changing the things in a okay let me change it to y it's not x right so here the ubd is been defined under the variable y and i'm using two upper function it will be changing to ubd in a upper case right next next one is character replacement sometime we need to replace some characters in this string i got the unboxing big data available and we can observe now a and a are in uppercase, I'm just changing this capital A to the lowercase, right? So it is X1, it will be X1 here. So let's do it. It is character ATR, C-H-A-R-T-R. It is, it's nothing but the character replacement in R language. So you can see it now, the cap capital A got converted into the small a, right? So old is A, new is small a. So old was uppercase, new is lowercase, right? In the same way, I can also do in a, means multiple characters got replaced as well. So in this case, what I'm using, I'm using Y1 as unboxing big data again, in which old is UB, it means U will be replaced by X, B will be replaced by Y. So this Y, unboxing, U and B, B got replaced with the by here, 
right y right so u got replaced with the x this is how we can uh, make use of character replacement next we have a string abbreviation sometimes we have to represent our string as an abbreviated form like new delhi ndls chandigarh csd in this way so i got city names available auckland wellington bangalore hyderabad so i am using a function inbuilt function called abbreviate it will be changing the string uh, city names to the abbreviated form you can see it here acl w w l n bngl hydr hyderabad right this is abbreviated in the same way in the r we got the state available as in built a uh, uh, thing so it is state means it's it will be representing or displaying the us states names right all the states got printed here now abb is a inbuilt uh, abbreviated form of us states you can use it as well but uh, the thing is this is only for us states not for other country states this is how we can uh, change to the uh, this one like uh, first was alabama alabama got converted to al in this way right this is called string abbreviation next we have a string equality sometime we need to equate our strings whether they are same or not whether they are identical or not so what we can do in this case i'm having a string available as a in which i got a vector available abd virat and faf so let's uh, do it here a as this then i'm uh, going with the again the same one as d it should return true i'm having a function available called identical i'm just con uh, uh, comparing the identity of these two strings a and d here right so let's see as expected we got this true let's suppose if i'm changing the string now having b available in which i'm now i have replaced virat and faf with a qdk and miller so let's see what happens it should give me the false answer let's me let me now uh, go with this it is ab now it is false this is called a uh, first string equality we got the identical function available in the same way we got some set operations for the character strings that we already have learned in the uh, mathematic class like we have a set operators like union intersect intersect then we have a minus operator available so let's do it here so i'm having again these two strings available ab so i'll be applying these things uh, three things together union intersect and set difference union means it will be uh, merging uh, both the strings together uh, inter intersect will give you the uh, common part and the set difference will give you it's a minus means which is there in our first uh, minus the common part let's suppose if we have in a abd virat faf so in a uh, in the case of b i got abd qdk miller so whatever there in the first uh, uh, then uh, subtracting the common part right so that's why abd was a common part in both abd got subtracted virat and faf got uh, retained uh, union means it will be merging of two strings intersect means common part right this is how we can make use of set operators next we have a string sorting very uh, useful function for sorting the strings <coughs> in this case again i'm having, i'm using this uh, a as my string sort a decreasing equal to true so in this case it will be showing you the things alphabetically sorted all right i just missed this uh, bracket now you can see virat faf and abd if i'm just not using this uh, this one decreasing equal to true it will be ascending order by default it will be abd faf and virat this is how we can make use of string sorting next point is if i want to uh, remove some white spaces in the string sometime what happen is maybe uh, intentionally or unintentionally some some white spaces got remained in the string so if we want to get rid of this we have this uh, string trim available str underscore trim function available so in this case i'm intentionally using some uh, white spaces in my text you can see it here uh, and let me show you first unboxing is i'm having some uh, space available at very last means to the right in a big i got some space available to the left in a data i got spaces in both sides yt i'm having the now spaces at the left and channel i'm having a spaces at the right so let's suppose i would like to now uh, remove these things okay so i'm having a function available str underscore trim side equal to left means it will be giving you uh, the answer by trimming the left uh, white space right means right white space both means in both cases let me first run this left one you'll be finding that wherever we have a left a white space available it will be trimmed you can see it here big we got this it's now got trimmed here data also yt also it got trimmed in the same way if i'm using here right it will be right space right will be eliminated if both then both will be eliminated together right this is how we can make use of str underscore trim but sometime sometime what happen is we would like to uh, add some uh, some information add some uh, like some data to the existing string let's suppose i want to add some pad pad means uh, adding something right let's suppose uh, we have a now function available str underscore pad now big data is of how much uh, length it's seven right 
So I got this width equal to 10. String, uh, side left means now the three space three uh, because it's seven now the width is ten it means three things will be added three white spaces will be added to the left let's see it here it's another uh, important uh, useful function called string pad you can see it here the three things got added here three white spaces got added here to the left in the same way if I'm having string pad now I would like to have the width ten and I want to add both you can see it here two got I guess one is added here two is got added here so that's why the complete length will be 10 and again uh, if I'm now I want to add something now I want to add instead of white space some some characters some special symbols you can see it here I would like to add the exclamation mark as to the right so that it can be the complete length will be 10 this is called string padding right adding something to the existing string so last point of today's this video is string r package which i already have said in the beginning that some of the functions got defined under the string package so first one is string underscore c means string concatenation so it will be uh, as name suggests it will be concatenating the strings as well so in this case i got this uh, learning to use the string r package so with the help of string underscore c the things got aggregated got concatenated right Next one is string duplication. Sometimes I want to duplicate, I want to repeat some set of uh, elements. We can do it with the str underscore dup. So uh, here the thing is ubd uh, got uh, repeated three times. You can, that's why we got ubd three times here, right? Next we have the uh, string length available. I would like to uh, like see the length of the string. So I got the text as my variable, unboxing big data. And I would like to know the text, the length of each and every string here present in this vector. So it is 834834, four, right? This is how we can make use of string length. Last is string sub means I would like to uh, get some subset, some sub part of it. It's called string underscore sub, right? Here I'm having again the same X learning to use the string R package. I would like to extract some elements starting from one ending at 15. Again, you, may, you, must, you must be wondering that the, these things we already done in the, uh, in the first part of the video. Why it is coming back? Because the every package has got some set of function and you, you have now some alternative available. It's up to you which one you want to use, right? So in this case, the start equal to one and equal to 15. So learning to use got, uh, got extracted from here. In the same way, if, if you're not giving the uh, like uh, start equal to one, the answer will remain same. It will not be a difference uh, anymore. It will be learning to use. In the same way, if you can just give the start 15, sorry, start 17, you can see the things will be displayed as a string R package. It means starting from 17 to the end of the string. At last, we can also have a negative indexing. So in this way, it will be uh, starting reading from the, uh, from the extreme right towards the left. So in this case, it will be the string R package, right? I hope uh, with this quick short video, you must be uh, getting some knowledge on the string, string functions that you can use in your projects and the scripts. Thanks for watching guys. See you next video.